What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Shiv, and today we're going to be talking about Refight the Last Warship. Now, before anybody says this, no, it is not a World of Warship clone. While there are many similarities in terms of model design and certain functionality of certain weapon systems, etc., and uh, equipment, it's it's nowhere near <laughs> the, the same style of game, all right? The Last Warship is what happens when Fortnite and World of Warship get together, have a baby, and put it on the market. It is a naval warfare battle royale style game, uh, which offers some very interesting strategic gameplay and a lot of other really cool things. Now, unlike other battle royales, you actually have multiple classes here. You have your basic battleship, your basic uh, cruiser, and your basic destroyer. The battleship is modeled very loosely off the uh, Bismarck and or Tirpitz, as you can see here with torpedoes. Um, though it is modeled off this, the gun calibers can change as you find new equipment. You can get 305s, 356s, 380s, uh, and even 406 and 460. For those of you who know anything about you know gun calibers for World War II battleships, that means Iowa and Yamato. Okay, 460 is 18 inch guns that the Yamato had. In short, it basically puts big holes into tough ships, and I will tell you right now, can do some pretty good damage. Um, now, for the cruisers, they are modeled extensively off the Admiral Hipper. Uh, so, yeah, you've got that. Now, I haven't played around with the cruisers yet, so I don't know what their gun calibers are going to be. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the destroyer, which is referred to as the Yugamo. Because, yeah, sure. And unlike the World of Warships Yugamo, uh, the modeling here basically has uh, single barrel turrets rather than dual barrel turrets. Uh, does that mean that's all you're limited to? You might be able to get more as you're playing. Now, one of the most interesting aspects about this game is the fact that it uses ammo for lots of things. Your main guns, torpedoes, and you can run out of this. This is a huge problem if you're a DD and you don't find any torpedoes. Or a torpedo launcher if you're a battleship and you have torpedoes. You know, it's kind of one of those catch-22s. You get this, but you don't have this. Uh, much like in a lot of battle royales where you'll get shotgun shells but only find a pistol. It is what it is. Alright, so you've got your three classes. They all have their own unique playstyles. Battleship is pretty much, I put big holes in you if you're a cruiser or a battleship. Um, cruisers is pretty much the in-between. I can mess around with a lot of things. Destroyers are heavily reliant on their uh, torpedoes to be overly effective. If they don't find torpedoes, they kind of really fall apart. They do start with a couple torpedoes, but yeah, that's kind of bad. Now, the game is played in a 30-man free-for-all. So what does this mean? Well, unless you're teaming up with a friend, which there is team play available... It's every man for himself, and I've had some of the people who watch me on stream playing with me, and I've just been slaughtering the hell out of them, one of which I rammed my destroyer right into his boat and literally set him on fire and flooding and all sorts of the things. Now, fire and flooding, this brings up a very interesting topic. In World of Warships, a fire is nothing. Oh, I've got damage control party. <laughs> Whatever. There is damage control party here, but it is a consumable that you have to find, and it is of limited use. So if you get set on fire and you use it, you're going to get set on fire pretty quickly again, and it's going to burn for quite a bit of damage. Fire damage in this game is no joke. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, what about heals? Can you repair your ship? Yes, they offer two different styles of heals in the game. There is an instant one that you can use in the middle of a battle, and there's one you can use as you're not under fire and you know, you're not seeing targets. That is a slow ticking heal up. Uh, those are very, very common. The big heal ones, not so much. You can also get engine boosts for all of your ships, and you can get tactical weapons like um, vertical uh, missile launchers or calling in bomb strikes on an area. This is actually kind of a really good thing to do if you see like a group of people engaged in a fight, just do a bomb strike there and it'll break up the fight or probably kill one in theory. So very interesting concept there. Now looking at what you have in the, uh, in the game here, you got your lobby where you get to select your class and hit the play. You've got your uh, character here, which basically allows for your customizations of a ship because you cannot play a battle royale without customizations, all right? 
everybody goes the Fortnite route. So you've got camos, you got battery effects, you got stern flags, bow decals, um, and just a ton of things. Now, on this account, we only have the battery effects. That's all we've unlocked so far. But there are many more. Now, speaking of accounts and how we unlock things is the battle pass. So there's two battle passes that you're going to be working with. One for your free-to-play guys, and as you can see, it's very limited. And one for those who actually pay and purchase uh, the battle pass. So if you're free to play, you're basically getting something every second thing. So as you see here, we're tier two, where we've got our thing. We don't get our next one till tier four, tier six, etc., 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 etc. And each one adds some very unique things. You've got this nice little effect here, which, by the way, this is extremely awesome. You got some. Uh, hull art that you could apply to the ships. You got some flags you could apply to the ships. You could even get credits that you, or battle coins that you could use to buy things. All right, so that's kind of a cool thing there. Uh, and you can also get camos to make your ships look extra special. And I think that's gonna be the one that a lot of people are gonna really like, because there's some pretty unique camos and gunnery effects in this game. There's also effects for your torpedoes. Look at that. If you saw that running towards you, you would probably, well, you'd probably take a crap in your pants because that's just scary. Everybody's afraid of sharks. I don't know a single person who doesn't have a healthy fear of sharks. And if somebody tells you they don't have a healthy fear of sharks, they're lying. All right, moving on. You've got the item shop. Now, it wouldn't be a free-to-play game unless there was some sort of cash sink, and we've already saw the battle pass system, so the item shop makes a lot of sense. But you'll also notice that the item shop has rotating things. So every day and every week, you're going to find new items, whether they be this uh, nice little bow or stern art, uh, this uh, gunnery effect, this camo, this gunnery effect, that gunnery effect. That bow art, that bow art, that bow art. You're going to find a ton of different options there. And if you're not seeing one you like, wait a day. You'll probably get it then. Now, challenges uh, is exactly what it is. It's basically your daily and weekly quest uh, chain setup. And as you can see here, there's quite a bit. We've already been doing some of these and, and doing pretty good on it. Um, and they're all kind of interesting. Uh, you can look here and see the weekly challenge here. Um... I have to get this one here to set uh, fires, and we get five more of those stars. Uh, use uh, four more of these, and we get that one. Uh, equip an advanced storage compartment and trigger overload, which apparently is very hard. I uh, I could have done it. I could have done it, uh, but I opted not to. But if we'd have done that, boom, we would have gotten a bunch of those stars, and we would have advanced to the next level um, in one of my previous games, and I totally didn't even realize that. So there's that. And as you can see there... Uh, you can scan through all the weeks. Uh, right now, that's not available, but eventually it will be. So, and of course, we've got the daily quest where invite a friend, successfully start one uh, fire with your ship's batteries. And these are daily. So every time, you know, fill a uh, warship's propulsion bar one time, we're going to get stars out of that. And those stars uh, and XP help us uh, with our battle pass. So that's always good. Uh, store, uh, this is how you basically are going to spend your money. Uh, a lot of games actually use this system. I'm more of a fan of the World of Warship system where you can pay cash money for in the uh, premium shop, or you can use the coins, which have uh, some pretty interesting fluidity in the game. I know a lot of people save up their doubloons that they get from the special events and or containers, uh, and they wait till the free XP uh, it's changed from 25 per one to 35 per one, and then they just unload then in order to build up a massive amount of free XP for getting ships like, say, the Alaska and so on. Um, so I really like it there. The fact that we are limited only to this system feels kind of like a bottleneck, but one that I'm pretty sure is going to be okay. All right, overview is pretty much your stats page. You can see how well you've done. Uh, we're averaging a 3 kill average with 3 to uh, 0.2 kill death. See how many games we've played. We've only played 5. Yay. And then you get to the more section. you got your leaderboards, which lets you know uh, where everybody's placed. Apparently, we're 39th. Wow. Um, okay. How about survival ranking? How are we doing there? 76. Wow, we suck. How about battle rating? 28. Woohoo! At least we're somewhere. That's good. By the way, this guy here, Dahis. He has wrecked me so many games. It's not even funny. All right? Not even funny. 
absolutely not even funny. Um, and of course, you got settings. Um, and you've got settings for everything here. Control, display. So you can remap some stuff, which is really nice. Language, it only comes in simplified Chinese and English voices only in Chinese for now. Um, and when it comes to the graphical display here, we are running this on a Ryzen 1700X with an EVGA GTX 1070. So not a potato, not the greatest rig, but we are still pulling 60 frames per second in the menus and dipping down to about 47 during high combat th uh, scenarios. But I've only seen that once, and that was like an eight-ship brawl in a close area. Most of the time, we are staying above 50 and pretty much above 60. All right, so we've talked a lot about the game. Let's actually get into some play, shall we? I think this will be a lot of fun. Uh, for this, we are going to take the battleship. It's probably the one ship I've played the most and the one I enjoy the most, just because there's something very satisfying about throwing out one salvo and literally watching a ship dissolve. Except for when it's me. True fact. Now, one of the mechanics that um, is in here that you'll also find in World of Warships is detonations. Yes, it is possible to detonate an enemy ship one shot. Uh, I did this to a player yesterday, and it was kind of funny. I did it on stream, and I felt horribly bad about it, even though my exact response was something like, eat something, something, something. All right, so yes, I was a little childish about it, but it is what it is. Okay, so now here's where everybody kind of queues up, you know, making sure that we've got sinkage here. And it's also a good time for you to get a little bit familiar with how your guns are going to be uh, working. Was kind of hoping to set a fire there just to show, but very nice. All right. Now, when you start, you start with three hundred and five uh, meter guns. Now we have to pick where we want to start. We can pick. Um, one of three different areas, basically, either a uh, high tier loot, medium tier loot, or virtually no loot. I generally like to go with the, uh, the high tier loot. And, uh, the reason for this is as a battleship, getting my hands on something like the, uh, 406 or the 460 millimeter guns is extremely important. This allows me to basically go toe to toe with any other battleship and as long as I get the first hits can dictate a lot of the flow of the battle. It also means I have a greater chance of getting armor and the equipment I really want at gold. All right, the first thing I'm seeing in our area is going to be Ammo, which, eh, and some guns. Uh, I see some secondary. That's fine. All right, so here's what we have on us right now. We have torpedoes, no torpedo launcher. We have common shells, uh, no skills, and yeah. So as we get closer, you'll notice that things pop up. Now, you can just hit uh, T on the screen, but sometimes you want to be a little bit more selective. Now, I'm not a fan of the 356, be perfectly honest with you, but we're going to equip them anyway. And we're going to pick up the common shells. Okay, now we've gotten everything over there, so we're going to turn inwards. I see a rare secondary, and that is kind of cool. I like that idea. We also got something I've never picked up before. I have no idea what it is. So we're going to pick up some of those. So we're going to be heading over here now. And we are right on the edge. We got four minutes of gathering stuff in this area. Okay. Smoke shells, right? And uh, post battle repair system, yep. Okay, we're being spotted.
And there you go. This is why being a battleship is awesome. All right, now we are going to equip the 380, which basically turns us into a uh, Bismarck for all intents and purposes. And we're also sailing over to where we can get some other equipment. And oh, there is another ship there. Okay, we have HE loaded. All right. That's not good. So we're under pretty heavy fire. Uh, gun rotation needs to come around. Uh, we haven't gotten anything for a superstructure that could fix that yet. All right, fire is out. Well, you can always just do that. All right, so there's armor. Lots of stuff we want to collect over here. All right, we have three kills. Ah, shit. And use smoke to protect us. And also get our guns around.
All right, that helps out dramatically. Hello, beautiful. Very aptly named. All right. Apparently we are still overweight. All right, I see a cruiser over there on the battleship. Oh, we actually got a hit on him. I have no idea what those are, but we're going to pick it up. All right. Uh, we are pretty heavy on that, so we're going to drop the torpedoes. All right, that gave us back our speed. Oh, we took a gun. There we go. And that's five killed. Ain't that about a bitch. Well, we got our torpedo tubes. Well, that's two more down.
失火，警报，甲板失火，警报，转向舵背击中，无法正常行驶。修完毕。嗯。Ah, crap. Oh, we set him on fire at least. Ah, we're getting beat up. Bye, potato. Ten alive, and I'm one of them. Are you fucking kidding? Wow. All right, turn, 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 turn. Seven.
That's not good. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. But, hey, we didn't die to a player, and we killed seven of them. So, yeah, and apparently we got an achievement for that. I don't know. Oh, uh, but that was actually a pretty amazing game, and we did that all with just the basic 380 that you would find on a basic German battleship. It is a rare gun, all right? It's not like the 406s or 460s uh, that are available in the game. So, it is what it is. But, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, we could stick around and see who lives, but come on, who really wants to do that? You're going to just go back to lobby or start a new game, and that's exactly what we're going to do here is go back to the lobby. So, guys, that is The Last Warship. It's a pretty fun game. It's kind of uh, an interesting take on naval warfare. The combination of the Battle Royale works out pretty good. Now, obviously, there are some issues with the game, and I'm going to say this right now. Obviously, torpedo ammo is going to be something that's going to be extremely crucial for, say, um, destroyers. And not getting enough of that is definitely going to be problematic. Uh, outside of that, there have been some connectivity issues with the servers. Uh, when it launched on the 15th, uh, the servers were not even up 12 hours. And then they were down for the rest of the day and didn't come back up until 6.30 a.m. EST the next day. And there was no notice about this, no talk from the developers or anything of that nature. So right now, they're not really communicating very well with the community. And that is a, kind of a check in the negative. And one thing I have to say is uh, th they really need to get on top of that because this game actually does have some really good potential, all right? If you're a World of Warships player and you want to play something different that doesn't have CVs and, you know, just have a really good King of the Hill experience, then this is going to be the game for you. They've also have a tank version. Same company that makes this has a tank version of that. So if you're a World of Tanks player, you should probably take uh, take a look at the um, Refight Burning Engine or whatever it's called. It's actually a pretty decent game from what I've seen in the videos. But that's going to be all for this video, guys. All right, so... Down below in the comment section, let me know what you think. And by the way, if you say World of Warships clone, I I'm just going to be disappointed in you, folks. Come on now. Anyway, that's going to be all. I'm out. Thank you very much. Peace.